this video is for Matt, uh, 50s transistor radios over in the US. Um, he posted a video up about his hacker uh, Herald RP30 recently. And this is just to show you, um, uh, or show Matt, um, my one. This is the red and gold version. And Matt wanted to know how these radios sounded on long wave. And uh, here we go. Sister LC. I always used to identify with LC when There's I read quite a bit of interference on long wave, especially it's about, uh, about writing 20 past stories. four in the afternoon here in the UK. The morals in Victorian books were more overt. I like to feel that my book not much music on long wave now. Morals too, but in Katie. I, I suppose that the real moral of that book and is And this is, as I say, B BBC Radio 4, way, and this um, would be the old BBC home be service. As cool as anybody else, because I do think it's frightening so that... We should better pick up some French stations as well. France is, uh, France is that way. No, it's not, I'm lying. Oh, hang on, that, that was the north. So France is this way, which is why it's nulling out when I'm turning that way, I guess. And if we go back down the dial, there might be... There's another French talk station down here. And that's uh, RTE over in uh, Ireland. That's the Irish national uh, broadcaster. Now, Matt, you wanted to see. Uh, this is on medium wave now, so I'm just tuning it on to medium wave. Um, well, have a look how punchy the sound is. You won't get the full. You won't get the full feel of the sound um, over on YouTube, especially recording it through um, a video camera microphone. The sound's very full. This is medium wave as well, not FM. There's a little bit of snow patrol there. It was a. It was a. Years back, and having a ball. So. Oh, That's about a quarter of the way on the volume control. We saw with Dave Henson earlier um, against Richard Whitehead in the 200 metres, uh, getting used to being a double amputee. It's about uh, halfway. You know, this is uh, such a technical... So you can see uh, the value of putting two PP9s in the back. Now, this is one of my daily sets, so it gets used quite a lot. But if you can see... You've got, this is the battery I think you haven't got in it, or the side you haven't got in, this side here. And that connects up. If you follow the brown wires up, it's really, put some more lighting on it a minute. Excuse me. You can... Um, ugh. Okay, there's there's the main switch wiring if you can see that this has all been re retransistored and recapacitated as well and sometimes these resistors these uh, these resistors they go a little bit noisy so if you just tap them, um, you'll find out which, which one's the culprit. But, um, yeah, easy to work on. 
you see how the how the battery is wired. Don't know if you can. If if not, just let me know and I'll show you. I can always send you the service manual if you want. So here we go, there's the uh, Hacker RP Herald and you'll notice that it's got a plastic handle here unlike the more familiar metal ones if I can just swing round um, this sort of handle there's, there's Hacker Heaven in here, I've got about 20 more up in the loft so there's a Hunter, this is the uh, that's the RP37 in blue and white. There's an RP37 there in red and gold. There's a Hacker Helmsman over at the back. There's a Sovereign here. Um, there's a couple of Hunters over the back there. Sorry, that's another Hunter there. So there we go. That's um, that's a quick scan round and have a look at the uh, Hacker RP30 for Matt.